is going on YouTube fam? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another memory plan with me video. I feel like it's been a hot second since I filmed one of these and also a hot second since I've done a voiceover. So I apologize in advance for whatever madness you may hear during this voiceover because y'all. Um, but today I'm using this really fun <laughs> kit from um, Sticky Essentials called Wild Child and it's it's not my normal aesthetic, you guys, but I fell in love with this art so much. I really, really adore it. Like I was reeling about this kit and I'm pretty sure I was reeling about this kit in my sticker haul, which is normal because that's usually what I do in my sticker hauls. I know, but still. <laughs> I hauled it in my Black Friday sticker haul. I'm not sure if it was part one. I think it was part two that I hauled it in. So um, if you guys missed that video, I'll go ahead and link it up in the cards. But I'm like in love with this kit. And you guys will see in a minute that I decided to move the date covers down because I totally forgot to get glitter headers with this kit for some reason. I think it was before I had decided on the recollections maybe and didn't realize that I'd need them so I decided to just to just move the date covers down to cover that little gray like header where the header would normally go on there so sorry y'all <laughs> adjusting and growing pains of switching to a new planner um, but I was bummed that I forgot that and then the only other thing I would have changed about this is I would have gotten the 15 millimeter washi it's like that pink purplish color that you guys see in the date covers and throughout the kit um, I would have gotten that too I'm bummed that I <laughs> I did not get that, um, but I love this kit and I am in love with the fashion girl. I'm pretty sure I showed her when I flipped through the kit at the beginning of the video, y'all. Like, I love this fashion girl. I want to be this fashion girl. She is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, so I am planning for the first week of February. So for those of you who follow the channel, I did actually skip the last week of January. I'm going to go back and plan that once the kit that I want to use for that week comes in. That is my mom's birthday week. And I had been pretty much hunting down that freaking SPC January mystery kit because it is fire. <laughs> and I just have not been able to get it. So I just kind of gave up on that and found another SPC kit that works. So I'm waiting for that to come in. She is based out of Texas, so I'm not expecting that to be coming to me anytime soon, which is totally fine. I'm just going to skip that week and then I'll go back and plan it when it does come in. Um, but I'm really excited. And like, I'm really excited to use that kit. I know I say it all the time. I know, I know, I know, but I'm excited. Also a huge just shout out, love, thoughts, prayers, all of those good things to my peeps in Texas. I know there are so many um, of, of my planner friends that are based out of there. So I'm thinking of you all. I've been trying to share as many resources as I can on Instagram in the hopes that it'll be helpful. Um, there are places that you can donate. I'll try to link some things that I found on social media down below if you guys want to take a look. Um, and the, they can be resources for, you know, if you're affected and just need some tips and tricks on things. Um, I've seen things like that. And then also, of course, resources to donate um, if you are able to. So I will try to find some, um, find some of the things I shared on Instagram and link them down below for you guys to check out and help out. I think that last I heard, I think the temperature is supposed to go back up to normal this weekend. So maybe by the time you guys are seeing this video, it may not be applicable, but in case it still is, I'm sure there's going to be, you know, aftermath as far as getting things back to normal kind of slowly. So I'm sure the help will still be needed even after. But um, yeah, I'll have those things linked down below. So please check it out. And if you can donate, go ahead and donate. So peace and love to my Texas friends and anyone affected by the winter storm. When I first heard about this, because I'm a northerner, I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> and then I, you know, after like thinking about it and not having my first gut reaction, I realized that, um, you know, they're not as equipped in the South to handle, to handle this type of weather. So I totally get it. Um, and yeah, so shout out to, to y'all. Um, I hope you guys are doing okay and hanging in. We're thinking of you. 
Okay, so <laughs> this is going to be the longest intro ever. So really quick, just to break down kind of memory planning, because I realize I never really explain it in any of my videos. Memory planning is just a version of pretty much scrapbooking. I am scrapbooking my weeks that have already passed. So the things that you see me lay down are things that have happened in real life, in real time, um, that I am basically just keeping track of memory keeping scrapbooking whatever you want to call it it's fun it's super therapeutic like you have no idea like this has kept me sane this and youtube pretty much have kept me sane through all of this so i'm endlessly grateful to all of you that watch my videos and make this possible so anyways now that we're getting into the day by day i should probably talk about what this today's what today's topic is like jesus <laughs> Today, I'm going to be chatting with you guys about the name change. Um, those of you who have followed the channel know that I was the organized millennial up until about I don't know, two or three weeks ago now, I think, and then I switched the channel name to Cafe with Anna. So I'm going to talk about some of my thought process behind that, why I switched the channel name, and all that good stuff. Um, so let's get into it. So let's just start with the Organized Millennial. Most of you may already know, but the reason that I picked the Organized Millennial is because I am a millennial, of course, and millennials tend to get a lot of crap for a lot of things. And I just wanted to prove a point that millennials are actually out here doing really amazing things, but y'all are just focused on avocado toast, and that's not the entirety of our generation. So I'm just saying. Um, also, avocado is delicious, so just saying. Um, but anyways, I really wanted to do something to empower my, my millennials and know that we're out here killing it and whatever to what people are saying. Um, so that's where that kind of came from, but I really wanted to kind of change. I wanted the channel to feel more genuine. I wanted it to feel a little more intimate, a little more personal, um, especially with the way that I do my plan with me is I feel like they're always an opportunity for you guys to get to know me, which is why I do them the way I do them. Um, I feel like you know, you guys get to know a little bit more about me, my personality, and, and all that good stuff through them, a little more so than in my budgeting videos when I'm really just talking numbers, usually. I try to, I try to insert some of my personality into those too through my commentary and my silliness and craziness, um, but at the end of the day, I'm really just talking numbers with you guys. Um, so I love that my plan with me is give me a chance to kind of get a little more, you know, a little more personal with you guys and let you guys get to know me a little more. And for the most part, what you find on this channel is budget with me, is plan with me, is sometimes organize with me, is, um, but they're all with me videos, right? Quote unquote with me videos. So I was like, well, maybe I should do a with me kind of thing. Um, but obviously it would be my name. <laughs> I really wanted to include my name in there because I felt like what can make it more genuine to me than putting my name in there as opposed to the organized millennial, which really didn't obviously have my name in it. Um, so I thought, okay, with Anna, what with Anna? So I was like, well, you know, most of the people in my niches are like um, Anna budgets or Anna plans. And I'm like, well, I do both. <laughs> um, so I was like, well, I could do like budgets, budgets and plans. But I was like, nah, like I want to, I really wanted to give the channel room to evolve and grow if, you know, in a year or two years or three years, I decide I want to expand the content that I offer on my channel, I don't want to have to think about changing the name again. Like, I want it to be something that can stick. So I was like, okay, how about Coffee with Anna? And then I played around with, like, my latina -ness and thought of some Spanish I can throw in. So I was like, all right, how about Cafe with Anna? Um, and then I finally, you know, kind of stuck on that because I was like, okay, I want, you know, I want this to kind of feel like you're, you're having coffee with a friend or wine with a friend when you come in and chat with me or interact with me or watch my videos, leave comments, whatever that looks like. Um, I have always wanted it to feel like that. Not, not that I don't want to be like professional, quote unquote, but I, it's not, it's not what I'm going for. It's not the vibe I'm really going for. Not saying that I want to be a slob over here. You know, I want to keep it to a certain <laughs> level of professionalism, but also I want it to be casual. I want it to be fun. Um, I want you to be able to laugh when you come to my videos, even though I'm talking about 
being over budget for the umpteenth time or <laughs> paying off debt or whatever it is that I'm chatting about. I still want you to be able to to laugh and, and to have a good time or to feel like you can relate to some of the things that I go through because, you know, we're all going through it. <laughs> Just because I document it on YouTube doesn't mean I'm any, any different than, you know, any different than y'all and what you guys are going through as far as money goes and all that good stuff and mental health and all the things that affect us. Um, so that's kind of where that stemmed from. Um, and like I said, I really wanted to give the channel room to evolve and grow so that if things did expand, you know, I'd be able to feel comfortable with whatever the name of the channel was. And I just remembered, so I want to go back to the coffee point. <laughs> Um, for those of you who are in the planning community and watch other plan with me's and other planners, you guys know that coffee Monday is like a thing. I've realized it's a thing that's usually marked in planners or a lot of planners will mark in their planners. How many times can I say planners in this video though, for real? Um, <laughs> so I also, you know, I also kind of took some inspiration off of that one because I, I don't always mark Coffee Monday because I'm more of like coffee every day. Like I love coffee and I need it in my life every day, not just on Monday. Although I understand the emphasis on needing maybe extra coffee on Monday. So I totally get it. But I also kind of played off that. So yeah, I threw around so many names, you guys. If I told you some of the names I threw around, you guys would laugh probably. Um, but yeah, I threw around a few names before I finally landed on, on Cafe with Anna. And, you know, if you're thinking of kind of rebranding or changing your channel names or social media na names or anything like that, really the first thing that I did before I fell too far in love with the new name is make sure that it was available on all the platforms. Um, I've learned that. <laughs> I've learned that back when I was deciding on the Organized Millennial. Um making sure it's available on all platforms and securing them on all platforms as soon as you can so that you don't have to worry. You know, even if they're platforms you're not necessarily ready to launch or to use right away, um, making sure that you've secured those so it's not a problem in the future. Um, so that's one thing I learned. A little tidbit, little tidbit for you. So yeah, hopefully that little tidbit helps you guys out if you guys are in the process of doing the same. And let me know down below in the comments if you guys have either recently gone through or have gone through a name change and kind of your thought process behind it or are you happy with the change um yeah let me know down below in the comments if you're thinking about it you know let me know I'd love to I don't know I think it's cool to kind of hear about the behind the scenes of what goes into a finished product you know you guys get the finished product but the behind the scenes to me is so fascinating too so anyways um, and another reason that, sorry, I just keep thinking of things randomly, so I'm so sorry if this voiceover is all over the place, you guys, I'm a, I'm a wee bit rusty, but, <laughs> um, um, so there's a very popular channel on here called The Organized Money, which covers very similar content to mine, and I kind of wanted to, I wanted to separate myself from that a bit more, too. Obviously, I don't have anything against the channel at all. Um, I just, I wanted to like stand on my own footing and, you know, give myself a chance to grow because the organized millennial and the organized money are very similar <laughs> as far as the, the, the names and the titles go. So if you think about when you like type it into a YouTube search box, most times the YouTube search box is going to finish with the organized money before it it even thinks about the organized millennial because it's such it's such a bigger following for that channel which makes perfect sense and is totally fine but I just wanted to separate myself from that a bit too so that was another reason why I decided to change the channel name you guys trust me I thought long and hard about it and um, I considered all the, the avenues and options and things like that and I really you know I made the decision that I thought was best for me and in the direction I want to go in so I hope you guys like the name. I hope that it inspired the things that I mentioned. Um, let me know down below in the comments how you guys feel about the name change. And let me know if you have done a name change recently or have changed some um, very big aspect of whatever your public perception or, or um, appearance is. 
Um, and if you're happy with that decision, are you happy that you changed it for whatever, whatever your reasons were for changing it? Are you happy with the decision you made? Um, cause I think at the end of the day, that's the best you can do. You know, we're not going to please everyone and I'm definitely not out here to try to please everyone. Um, but I am out here to be true to myself and, and be, be right with my decisions you know um Shay of Shay Budgets always says like it needs to sit right with your spirit and I love that because that's totally my vibes and my energy I just want to make sure that what I'm putting out there sits right with my spirit so yeah let me know down below in the comments but that's pretty much everything that went into I think I give you guys literally all of my thought process that went into the name change so if you guys have questions leave it down below in the comments I'm almost done but I'm not quite there so <laughs> I'm just gonna chat with you guys to finish out the video those of you who have been following my budgeting videos know that I have been severely over budget for February I did a mid-month check-in last week I believe um, if you guys missed it I'll link it up in the cards for you guys but y'all like my spending budget like what spending budget like that exists that's a thing because I'm acting like it's not because I went so over budget you guys and let me tell you why I did I mean of course you guys know it's because of stickers but specifically I have done the thing I said I wasn't gonna do and that is start to get into foil why can y'all answer why I've started getting into foil? Why? Because I knew, I knew <laughs> that if I got into foil, my bank account would not be happy. And here we are. I'm getting into foil. I picked up so much foil from SPC. I picked up foil from Caress Press. Y'all, I think I got a like foil overlay tape from Sticky Essentials. All of these were sales. SPC just had like a foil sale one like a week ago or two weeks ago or something cleaned house caress press had um had some like foil bundles that she had on sale yep <laughs> signed me up sign me up um and then sticky essentials was having like her new releases sale i think not every time but a lot of times when she does new releases she'll have like a code you can use to get a percentage off so i was like word sign me up this is how i get into these issues guys like why and I think I mentioned in my last maybe in my last plan with me or I don't remember I mentioned in one of my videos that I was trying to stay away from washi tape that's the other thing that's literally going to blow my budget out of the water like do not let me get into washi tape you guys because I can't do it I see y'all with all those rolls of washi tape <laughs> and I just cannot I cannot there is Gosh, I can't remember who the planner is, who I think she was doing a monthly highlights video and she did this beautiful sidebar like washi of just washi strips. <gasps> I need to find out who that planner is. It's so good. I think it's it might be Christina plans. Don't hold me to that because I need to confirm that it might be Christina plans. Actually, I think it is. All right. I'm going to confirm that. Hold. Yes, so it is actually Christina Plans. I just looked it up. That sidebar washy goodness that she did in this video. I'm going to go ahead and link the video down below for you guys in the description box if you guys want to check it out. It's a thing of beauty. I don't know. Maybe I'm late to the game. This has been happening <laughs> consistently in the planner community and I just haven't seen it. But oh my goodness. Ooh, she makes me want to get into monthly highlights. She makes me want to get into washi tape. Oh my goodness. Anyways. <laughs> shout out to her go show her some love and tell her that I sent you if you do I've been binging her videos for the last weekish because I just love them so anyways y'all that's pretty much it I'm just finishing out Sunday um and then I'll be heading over to just I think right in the sidebar and then closing out the video so Again, if you guys have questions or comments on anything that I shared in the video, go ahead and drop them down below. I love interacting with you guys and I'm usually really good about responding to comments. So, or if you have any questions in the stickers, I know some of you guys prefer sticker talk throughs um, and I do do them sometimes. So you can be on the lookout for those. But if you have any questions on any of the stickers that I used, feel free to leave it down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as it really does help support the channel more than you 
you know. If you're into budgeting, planning, and stickers, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tap the bell so that, so that you don't miss an upload from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Thank you.